question. White nationalist is someone who believes that the white race is superior to other races. Well, that, that's some people's opinion. Uh, and I don't think, that's I mean, a lot of uh, COVID really brought it out about how bad our schools are yeah. and how bad our teachers are in the inner city. They want to divide family. They don't want any gender. They want one gender. Uh, they want to attack everything that we've done over the years and go by th their ideology. Our country is in trouble and it starts with education until we start recognizing what the left is doing, trying to change family, trying to change the things that, that are our moral values, uh, we've got no chance. What the hell is he talking about? Their complaint on a daily basis, they're the one joke that conservatives know is that there's a whole bunch of them and you can just have whichever one you want or whatever. Which is the one gender that we want? We're not the ones limiting gender expressions. You guys think there should be two and that's basically it. Um, by the way, I didn't know this about Tommy Tuberville, a guy who's very concerned about kids. So concerned that apparently back when he was a coach, he handed a one game suspension to a player that was charged with the rape of a 15 year old. That's from the Washington Examiner, which I believe is a more conservative yep. outlet. I'm not familiar with that story, mm. but this is clearly a guy who's very concerned about the children. COVID really brought it out about how bad our schools are yeah. and how bad our teachers are in the inner city. Most of them in the inner city, uh, I don't know how they got degrees, to be honest with you. Uh, I don't okay. know whether they can read and write. But they're the experts that want to make sure that parents exactly. have no say. They, yeah. uh, how, what, how do you, and they how want dare to raise. you decide what to do with your children? They want to raise, they want less time to work, yeah. less time in school. It's just, we, we've ruined work ethic in this country. Yeah. We, we don't work at it anymore. We, we, we push an easy life. So first of all, they got to warn teachers. They've been attacking teachers left and right. Oh, They're teaching about history where some people were racist in America. God, we hate the teachers. So you okay, but they're just teaching history. That's actually did happen, right? Uh, oh, some teachers are letting people say that they have to have parents that are you know of the same gender. We gotta shut them up. It's a goddamn teacher's fault. I mean, over and over and over, attacking teacher after teacher after teacher, right? But my guess is what happened here is that Tupperville probably caught some flack at home in Alabama from some teachers who were Republicans, mm -hmm. right? And so that's why he's out here going, nah, the teachers, <laughs> we hate those teachers. But wait, 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 wait. Uh, but only inner city teachers. Mm. Right, 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 right. Now I see you, okay? And guys, look, if you don't know, inner city is in politics has been a code word for black for the last 50 years, okay? So he's saying the black teachers are dumb and can't even read. My opinion of a white nationalist, if somebody wants to call him white nationalist, to me is an American. It's an American. Now, if that white nationalist is a racist, I'm totally against anything that they want to do because I am 110% against racism. But I want somebody that's in our military, that's strong, that believes in this country, that's an American that will fight along anybody, whether it's a man or woman, black or white, red, it doesn't make any difference. Um, so the reason why he's trying to say, well, I'm 110% against race, he said in, uh, later in that interview that he had to deal with, I mean, work with, uh, African Americans on the college teams that he coached. It was like, okay, yeah, just show me your hand, go ahead. Uh, anyways, uh, so he wants to be able to say, I'm against racists, but I'm for white nationalists. Because he, he thinks, not us, he thinks a big chunk of his voters are white nationalists. That's why you try to parse these words. There is one other possibility that he just doesn't know the English language. Right. Like he's never heard the term phrase white nationalist, even though he's been in the news for months and months and months about the same term that he's so incompetent and lazy, he never even bothered at looking it up. He didn't ask any of his staffers, hey guys, how, what do people mean by white nationalist? Why are people so upset about it? Either he's so uncaring and dumb that he didn't ask that, or he knows, but he wants to say, no, white nationalist, good, 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 right? Racist, I mean, media, don't pick on me, I'm against racists.